Hello everybody. I am making this video for you so you could see how we're going to navigate the remainder of the semester online. Um, as you know already, we have our modules over here that you definitely need to continue to do. We are on module six after spring break and that is our flexibility chapter, which is chapter five. So your homework is to read chapter five. Um, there are two PowerPoints here. This one is just the PowerPoint from the actual book. This one's my audio flexibility PowerPoint. It's a little different than this PowerPoint, but it's me speaking throughout the whole PowerPoint. And then what I'd like you to do is your chapter five reading review. So let me go back to the announcement page. You could visit the video that I'm making. Now I'm actually gonna switch it out. This is one from another class, but there will be a video here that you can click on. Just if you forget what I'm telling you and you just wanna refresh, you could always watch the video. And then down here is our online class instruction guidelines. So how we are going to handle the activity labs moving forward online is a little different than the Zoom interactive classroom that I originally was going to do. So we're changing it over um, to work out videos online. So what I'd like you to do first is just, I'm gonna read through this real quick, but you need to learn how to create a time lapse or a hyperlapse video on your phone or device. It's pretty easy to do, um, but I did create a link over here on the left-hand side, I'll click on it, that gives you instructions on how to do this. So a time-lapse video is for an iPhone, a hyperlapse video is for an Android, and all it is is just a setting on your video app on your phone, and the setting actually speeds up whatever you're recording. So for instance, you can have a 50 minute workout and I could watch it in time lapse and it will take me like less than a minute to watch. So given the fact that there's like 25 of you in my class, it makes it a lot easier. I could always slow down the video and um, look at certain parts of your video, but that's how we're going to handle you actually doing the whole video is you're sending it to me in a time lapse mode. So read through these instructions. Um, all the research that I looked up, they recommend you getting a phone tripod, but if you don't have one, I don't want you to go buy one. There's a link here that you can make one on your own or make it even easier for yourself. You could prop your phone up in a spot that you could actually video your full body during the workout. Cause I need to see your form and your technique throughout the video. So while I'm watching it, I could definitely see that. So make sure I can get a full view of you doing the workout. Uh, once you're done recording, you're going to save that video and then you will be uploading it and I will show you how and where to do that. All right, so your modules are here. I just clicked on this. Down here are all of your workout submissions. So your time-lapse video workouts, you're going to submit under whatever week you're submitting those workouts for. You are required to do two workouts a week. And the great thing about being online is that you don't have to do them during your normal class time. You have the whole week to do your videos at any time you like. You just have to make sure you submit it by the end of each week, Sunday night by 11.59 p.m. So I'm just gonna click on here because this is where you'll find all the videos that you are going to be doing for the class. So if you click on that, here are your Pilates workout links. So for workout number one, that submission is due actually the week we get back from spring break, you have two workouts due and you're just gonna follow your workouts that are due in numerical order. So workout one, workout two, workout three, workout four, I'm just gonna click on a link just to show you where it will bring you. It's gonna bring you here, and then it tells you to click on the link below to open the page in a new window. So you'll click there, and then it takes you 
Hi, I'm Andrea, and I'm the creator and founder of Extend Bar. Because of my dance and Pilates background, I really wanted to marry those. Hey guys, get ready to tune into your body and feel restored because today we have certified Reiki master and yoga and you instructor, can make Kelsey screen. J. Patel. This Hi guys, really I'm so cool excited to be here and share YouTube with you my Pure Joy class, which is a combination of meditation. So Pop Sugar Fitness is kind of a cool YouTube channel that you could explore all different types of videos. I tried to gear the videos that I put on that list more towards Pilates, yoga. Some of it may be conditioning based. But what's neat about it, I'm just going to X out of it for now, um, is that they're all celebrity trainers that are taking you through it. And on the video, you'll see three people doing the video, and each person breaks down the movement. Um, one is a beginner level, one is intermediate, and one is advanced, so you could follow whichever one you feel more comfortable with. Now, some of these videos here that I posted are 30 minutes long. Some of them are longer, um, but if they fall like 30, 35 minutes, I put some meditation links here for you, and you could see I put in parentheses here the time that each of these are. So if your workout is a 35 minute workout, I would like you to click on a meditation link and finish your workout um, doing the meditation link so you get a full class. Some of these up here are longer than 35 minutes. So if it falls like 45 minutes long, then that's fine. You don't have to do the meditation link unless you want to. And what's neat about having these uh, video links here is that you could always use them. Um, what is required for my class is just two workouts a week, but feel free to use these workouts whenever you want as many days as you want. But again, you're only required to submit two a week. So I'm just going to click on the week we get back from spring break, March 30th to April 5th. Again, I just put the time lapse instructions here again, but it's also here, right? Um, and then what you would do is click on once you have time lapsed your workout video and you saved it to your device, you would click on the first workout submission. So click here. You'll see that it's due Sunday, April 5th here at 11.59, and it just tells you what you need to do, what I kind of just explained to you and showed you where to find the videos and showed you where the links are and that if it is a 30 to 35 minute video, do a meditation after. But once you've done your, your time-lapse video, you can click on Browse My Computer. And I mean, I don't have a time-lapse video here, but you can click on whatever um, link that your workout video is under I'm just going to click on this for a second and you'll see that it pulled it up here and then you would just submit it to me and I would get that and that's proof of your attendance for that one workout I'm just going to cancel this and then you would continue with your workouts each week so here's workout number two again this workout is due Sunday April 5th before 11:59 p.m. So you'd browse your computer, find the file for the workout number two that you did, and then submit it. So the reason why we're going to this format, because, you know, I understand that given the situation, you may have family at home, you may have children, you may have different things going on in the house, and it might not be conducive for you to do a live interactive class with me at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m., I'm sorry. So I'm... Um, creating it this way so you have more flexibility to do it when there's a time that's more convenient for you but you need to do the two workouts each week so this here or for your workouts specifically again i'll click on this it's a different week it says workout number five you go to video number five workout number six you go to video number six and continue down um i know some of you missed the week before spring break because of the virus and you know, people were nervous to come to class. So I made a link down here for extra credit. Um, this is your extra credit workout submission. So all you would do is, here's submission number one. If you've missed one class that week, two classes that week, it's the same format. You'll go to workout 15, video yourself, click on here, 
you've saved it to your device, click on Browse My Computer, find it, upload it, and then submit it. All right, uh, let me go back here. And extra credit workout submission number two is just any workout on that link that you liked. Maybe there's one you really liked and you want to go back to it. Guys, feel free to ask me any questions through email. I get my emails um, every day. I check them and respond to them as quickly as I possibly can. I know this is a really um, unusual situation and we're trying to do the best we can to get everybody fulfilled with their course obligations so they get credit for the semester. But if you have any questions on the video on where to find stuff online um, as far as Blackboard and your workouts or navigating through Blackboard, please email me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Stay healthy, stay safe. Um, hopefully this ends soon. I'm really sad that we don't meet fast face to face anymore because I really enjoyed teaching you guys. You're a great group. But I will definitely be checking out your videos online and I will send you weekly reminds about your modules that are due. So just remember um, coming back from spring break, I know our course outline's a little off now, but we'll go from module six and move forward. Um, that's pretty much it. I will definitely be in touch through Remind, and like I said, feel free to reach out to me via email anytime. All right, guys, have a great night.